Um, first of all, Matt, have you got Tuesday night out of your system? Because, um, or and the players, because I imagine that was monumentally frustrating all round. Yeah, they have. Uh, today, training was was good. We, I, I watching the game, I was surprised that we didn't um, take the chances that we created. And then watching it back, I was more than surprised uh, because the, the level of the chances that we created were quality. But in saying that, it wasn't one player that missed chances, it was numerous players. And, and I think when you look at when you look at it on the whole, the positives are that we have well, we did what we've been doing on, on numerous occasions this season, which is creating uh, a lot of chances in games. I thought our approach to the game, I thought the setup, and I and I also think that to get in those positions, we we showed a real identity, and the players have have done a lot of what I've been asking for. But, they unfortunately didn't put the ball in the back of their net and that's, that's why we lost the game. So while it was frustrating, there's still a huge amount of positives to take from, from the game on Tuesday night. Yeah, ab absolutely. And in terms of putting chances away, I mean, you know, always, these are the occasions I do feel a bit for managers because we sort of talk to them and say, OK, well, how are you going to fix that then? But um, it, it, is them, other than getting the players to practice, which I'm sure you do anyway, what else can you do? I think it's... Um, it's confidence and what I mean by that is is a lot of the chances that that we missed at, at the weekend uh, sorry on Tuesday night were chances where it's almost as if the players bodies tightened up because of being in that position and it was emotional uh, because and the reason I say that I watch them every day in training and you watch them slide the ball in time after time so it has to be um, a psychological thing it cannot be in any way, shape or form an ability or being able to, to execute the finish because they do it every day on the training ground. So that tells me that, um, that it might be something to do with a, with a mindset. And if it is, then, of course, we'll help them with that. But it does come a lot from the player and the players and, and having been in that position myself, it's not a cop out for, for a coach or manager to say that. It's the truth because... The players are the ones that are on the pitch and they're the ones that are in those scenarios, in those situations. We, of course, as, as we always do, is try and recreate situations as best as we can on the training pitch. So the players, as you say, can practice. But when those big moments come, I think we, we've been snatching at them a bit too recently and a bit too much recently. And that, the reason we're doing that is because the players are so desperate to score and so desperate to succeed. But we need to probably... Uh, in our brains, not so much uh, their legs or, or head, in terms of if they're heading for goal, they need to slow down a bit. So if you can slow down your brain a little bit and, and relax, then nine times out of ten, you will execute the right technique. And ultimately that, as you, I mean, you said it there, that has to come from the player in the end. You know, you and, and your staff and the, each other, they can guide themselves. But in the end, that, that's just going to have to be them, isn't it? It is, it is, and, it, and, and the way you train that is, first and foremost, you stress the players on the training pitch. So you, you put them in situations that are likely to be in on, on a match day, and then you continually practice, uh, and you practice the technique. And, you know, without going into too much detail, there's a lot to do with muscle memory and a lot to do with putting yourself in that situation on a regular basis. But the, the encouraging thing for me, Mike, is that our players have done that already this season. So I'm not, I'm not sat here saying to you, oh my word, we haven't scored on Tuesday night and we haven't scored for seven, eight games. That's not the case. No. The, the standards at the football club have, have risen, I believe. Now they've risen because, not because of my expectation, not because of the, the fans' expectation. They've risen because the players have performed well. And um, with that performing well and picking up good results, obviously expectation levels will rise. And now what the players have to do is find a way to cope with that. Um, on to Saturday. 
Um, the, the second round of the FA Cup, everybody knows what that means. This is, you know, it's a ticket into the third round draw and everybody wants to be involved in that. But you've got to play this game first, which I, I dare say you're imparting, reminding the players one way or the other. Yeah, no, it's a, it, it'll be a good game. It'll be a good game, not least because Swindon are exceptional away from home. And they're a team that is free-flowing. They're a team that, that similar to us, is new. Um, they have a clear identity, a way of playing. But I feel it's a game that we must go after. I feel it's a game that we must really attempt to, to, to impose ourselves and our game plan on the opposition. Uh, one thing I do know is that we will have a game plan. We will try and implement that. But it, it, again, it's, it's the non-negotiables that we have to first and foremost um, make sure that we do. And you know what? Tuesday night, Saturday, even when we've lost games, we've still done the basics. And then it becomes down to decision making and, and the quality in the final third. And it'll be no different, I'm sure, on Saturday. Respect the opposition 100% because they're a good team, especially at our level. However, I think that we're a good team as well. So I'm, I'm sure it'll be a very good game. But obviously, it's one that we're desperate to perform in because, as you quite rightly say, you know, we would like to be in the next round of the FA Cup. Yes, and I don't want to you know, rehearse the cop cliches too much that people will know, but the FA Cup is, is obviously a big deal for Warsaw and uh, as it would be for any other club at, at League Two level at the moment. And a third round, a, a favourable third round draw would mean an awful lot to the club. There's no, there's no getting away from it. It mean an awful lot to the club, but it also mean a huge amount to me, the staff and the players. Of course. Look, I, I think it's the best cup competition in the world. I'm biased because, <laughs> because I'm English and I played in it. I understand the heritage. Uh, now the players, our players, a couple of them here, a few of them here have had some good runs in the cup themselves. And, and they know how much that can galvanise a group of, of players. So, yeah, it's a game that we're going to give everything to. It has a different feel, obviously, because there aren't three points at stake. I suppose you could argue that if you were to get an exceptional third round draw, that the value of this game is greater than just three points. However, you know, first and foremost, for us to have any opportunity of winning, we've, we've got to turn in a, a consistent performance. We've threatened to do that. We have done that. And we've won games. What we haven't done is that often enough. 